Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is gonna be a quick one and it's gonna cover how to rename your uh, Yukon devices. So uh, as you can see, I have a few devices here in my list under my surfaces. And I have two instances of Avid Control uh, because I have a iPad and I have a Fire HD. And currently, I don't know which one is which because by default, the instances get uh, a unique identifier and it's not necessarily the device they're connected with uh, or running on. So um, we can find out pretty quickly uh, which is which. So uh, since we only have two Avid Control apps, we only need to find out which one is which. So I'm going to go for the iPad. And uh, obviously the Avid Control app is running on the iPad, so uh, if I click on the gear in the top right, it'll bring up a settings page. And on the far left, lower corner of that settings page is about. So if you click on that, it will show you the app version and the device name. So we can see here uh, the device name ends with 2412. So looking here in U control, we can see that this one is clearly the iPad. Uh, so in order to rename it, uh, it's got to be in the My Surfaces column. So let's click on Add. And if you click on it once and then click on it again, it'll change the box to an input box where you can uh, rename it to whatever you want. So I'm just going to you know, change the last four digits to iPad. Uh, so you can see it renamed. So in order to rename the next uh, Avid Control instance, uh, we actually have to remove this from the My Surfaces column because you can't have two Avid Control apps uh, without binding it to another device. So uh, let's remove that. And we're going to try to uh, rename the Fire HD next, which is this one. So let's click on this. Click on it again and rename this Fire HD. And that's been renamed, so let's remove this guy. And it may pop up with the old name, which it did. Uh, but don't worry, don't get frustrated. Because uh, when you re-add it back to this list, to the My Surfaces column, it will actually pick up the new name. So uh, don't worry about that for right now. I guess I'll just demonstrate pretty quick. But uh, So if we add the S1, and we bind this to the S1, you can see it actually picked up the uh, the new name. So I hope this helps. And um, all right, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.